here is I'm going to check this Nissan uh, ECU you can see this is the number for that something A56 U50 Nissan V0 now this is for uh, 2004 Nissan Sunny or Sentra you can see I'm going to check it with a oscilloscope with the help of a oscilloscope I'm going to verify the health of the ECU so this is uh, something you know there are test points which had been given here I can read test point number two and here are also some point test points and here are also the same uh, test points are there so I'm going to check it on the oscilloscope what is uh, what I'm getting oscilloscope uh, channel number two I'm connected now and of course the uh, amplitude is at 5 volt and frequency I set it to 5 uh, millisecond you can see and then now what I'm going to do is I have to and uh, of course the ground of the probe you can see here connected to the battery ground and now I'm going to check for uh, test point number 21 you can see here so on this what I'm getting is you can see on the oscilloscope screen I'm getting something 12 volt so this is battery and switch 12 volt is coming over here from the vehicle it's okay now it's the second this uh, sine wave you can see this is from my hand if I'm putting my hand on the prop I'm getting the sine waves this is okay no worries with this so for test point number 24 I have to check 42 sorry to test point number 42 I'm getting a ground it's okay for test point 35 I'm getting a 5 volt signal you can see 5 volt DC so it's okay this is for the chips which are used inside the CPU or the ECU so the 5 volt is okay for test point number 31 what I'm getting is 2.5 volt this 2.5 volt is used in the processor chip so this signal is also okay next is test point number 34 so 34 I'm checking here what I'm getting is about 5 volt this is also okay next is test point number 30 you can see you can see a square wheel this is what is the clock for the CPU and for the ECU uh, the whole clock is showing over here the clock signal is also okay it should be healthy for a good ECU next is test point number 43 on 43 I am getting 5 volt it's also okay now test point 82 I have to check for here I am getting 12 volt this is switch 12 volt it's also okay next is the same 83 is the same point so 12 volt again for other point that is test point number 80 I am getting a ground it's also okay next is test point number 81 you can see here is the 81 so on the 81 I am getting zero ground 84 it's a 5 volt you can see it's okay and then next is this blank point so here nothing is there you can see this is my hand uh, pulse only so these were the signals which I am getting on an ECU healthy ECU and ECU here are the component side you can see this is the CPU chip and here is of course the ignition or the ignition and the uh, fuel injector uh, driver pulse uh, driver IC and here is the key programming IC here is what is the 5 volt reference IC if 5 volt was were not good we had to, had to replace this one and if we have some missing uh, spark or uh, missing fuel injection pulses we have to replace this IC so these are the ICs the rest of the ICs you can see these are the supporting ICs for the CPU this is this is these are what are the chips and uh, ECU testing which I show thank you for watching